Okay, one method that we always talk about of sampling for thrips or other insects, even mites for that matter, would be to put a put sample in alcohol and allow the sample to you know sit there for a little bit, maybe shake it a little. And what you're doing is you're either killing the insect or coaxing it off of the sample into the solution. And then you can filter the solution and then take that filtered screen and put it under the microscope and actually count the number of pests or see if they're live dead or whatever. So it's a good way to monitor for thrips specifically. So what I've got here is just a little funnel. You can get the funnels almost anywhere. And now I have beakers, but you can use jars. It doesn't really matter. And just a piece of screening material. This is probably polyethylene. It could be polyester or something like that, but very fine screen. And then some ethanol. Now ethanol is a little different. It's not, uh, eth it's not the alcohol you typically get in the stores, but it is one that you can use. So for instance, we're going to put a Gerber flower in there, and there's some thrips in that flower. could also put in something like this little terminal of rose, and it has some aphids and things on it. So I'm going to put that in there and pour the alcohol in so that it's covering the samples and swirl it around, swish it around a little bit. You can let it sit for 30 seconds or so. That usually helps the thrips and things to, to want to get off that plant. They, they feel the alcohol and it's, it's going to encourage them to get off of the sample. Uh, swirl and swirl and swirl. Once you're done, once that sample's done, you can uh, you know, tip it off a little bit, make sure the solution's off, and we'll take out the rose sample too. And then what you want to do is put that over the funnel, so you have the screen and over the funnel, and then go ahead and pour the solution through the screening material. Now by doing that, you have now sifted the, uh, the insects off. So you can see the aphids there are real obvious to see. And what I can see down there, and it might be difficult because they're small, are also some thrips right down on the bottom of that as well. Right now they're knocked out because of the alcohol. But we can take, put this under a microscope and actually count the number of immatures and adults and, and actually get a sample of what's going on. So this is from our colonies. It's obvious that we have the samples. So your samples from a growing perspective might not have this many insects in it, but this is pretty common. And this is a real simple way of uh, sampling for thrips in your flowers or in your plant material. Okay, so now I have the filtered sample. And in order to really get a good idea of what's going on, I put it under the microscope. And I'm going to look for different stages of the insect or mite that's in here in order to find out what really is in our samples that we took earlier and filtered in the alcohol. And there are quite a number of aphids, some flying aphids, and lots of adult thrips. And there are some immature thrips as well. Actually, it, what's really interesting is there are some parasitized aphids, and I actually see a few parasites as well that have parasitized the aphids are, uh, are also in this sample. So lots and lots of thrips and some aphids from the rose head and the thrips are coming from the Gerbera flower head that we brought put in there. And there's a really interesting wasp here that's probably a parasit parasite of the aphids. They will find them if they're there. So I'm pr pretty common that's what that is. So that's how we sample for thrips and aphids and things in terminal samples.